the era of affordable iPhones could be coming back soon enough. We've known for a while that Apple has a fifth iPhone in development. It belongs to the Californian brand's iPhone SE range, and it seems like some big changes are happening. 91 Mobiles has exclusively obtained the CAD render of the upcoming iPhone SE 4, and here is an exclusive look at them. The previous iPhone SE devices have been based on Apple's older iPhone models with a home button. For the first time, the brand is planning an overhaul. Based on the CAD renders obtained through industry sources, we can confirm that the iPhone SE 4 will have a 6.1-inch display size. This is a significant upgrade over the iPhone SE 5G 4.7-inch display with a home button. The CAD renders also reveal that the iPhone SE 4 will feature a notch size similar to the iPhone 13 and iPhone 14 series and house the Face ID module. Further, the phone will come with a single primary camera at the back, similar to its predecessors. The device's dimensions will be 147.7 by 71.5 by 7.7 millimeters, similar to iPhone 13 and iPhone 14. This corroborates Mac Rumors' report from last year, which also told us that the device could feature an action button, which is unclear based on the renders provided, and a USB-C port, too. The fourth-generation iPhone SE is expected to make its debut in 2025. But with rumors piling up, it won't be surprising if the device appears at this year's fall event alongside the iPhone 16 series. The iPhone 16 series is expected to be a relatively moderate update, but an affordable phone in the lineup could help with sales in developing countries. Now for those of you excited about the iPhone 16 series, though. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you guys decide if it is worth it. The wait for my regular viewers, you guys have seen this so just skip to the next video. But if you're new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is set to succeed 2023's iPhone 15 Pro Max, introducing over 25 new features and improvements to Apple's high-end smartphones. With many users adopting two-year upgrade cycles, plenty of iPhone 14 Pro Max owners will be looking to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max later this year. So this guide breaks down every major difference you should be aware of between the two generations. In 2022, Apple unveiled the iPhone 14 Pro Max as the successor to the popular iPhone 13 Pro Max, introducing an of-always-on display, the Dynamic Island, a 48-megapixel camera, the A16 Bionic chip longer battery life, and more. Two years later, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is expected to offer over 50 upgrades. All of the changes the iPhone 16 Pro Max models are expected to feature compared to their 2022 predecessor using information from reliable sources we have previously covered. We will update you in the future as more rumors emerge in the coming months. So, make sure to sub the channel for more updates and let us know about your thoughts on this video in the comments section. The design of the iPhone 16 Pro Max is expected to be a relatively significant evolution over the iPhone 14 Pro Max, iterating on titanium frame and slightly rounded edges introduced on the iPhone 15 Pro models last year. Apple uses a surgical-grade stainless steel chassis with squared-off edges in the iPhone 14 Pro, while an iPhone 16 Pro will be an aerospace-grade titanium chassis with contoured edges. There was a ring-slash-silent switch on the left side of the iPhone 14 Pro, but now it will change into to action button in the iPhone 16 Pro. The iPhone 14 Pro uses a thermal design with a copper heatsink and black foil battery casing, while on the other hand iPhone 16 Pro uses a new thermal design with a graphene heatsink and metal battery casing, which helps to, to control heat and improve battery life. There is the lightning port in the iPhone 14 Pro, but thanks to the EU, Apple uses a USB-C port in the iPhone 15 series, and it will continue onward. If we talk about color options, there are space black, silver, gold, and deep purple color options in the iPhone 14 Pro, while an iPhone 16 Pro will be available with black titanium, white titanium, desert titanium, and titanium gray color options. Both iPhone 16 Pro models are expected to feature larger displays than their predecessors, pushing the iPhone 16 Pro Max to be the biggest iPhone ever offered. There are also reportedly improvements to the underlying OLED technology in store, in addition to last year's slimmer bezels, making for a noticeable overall display upgrade. 
There are 6.1 inch and 6.7 inch options in iPhone 14 Pro models, but in iPhone 16 Pro there will be 6.3 inch and 6.9 inch with thinner borders around the display and more efficient OLED display with brighter micro lens technology. The iPhone 16 Pro models are rumored to bring notable improvements in processing power, including a 3 nanometers Apple Silicon chip and 33% more memory iPhone 14 Pro models use an A16 Bionic chip which is based on TSMC's N4P 5 nanometers process with a 16-core neural engine and 6 gigabytes of RAM. While on the other hand, iPhone 16 Pro models that use an A18 Pro chip which is based on TSMC's N3E enhanced 3 nanometers process neural engine with significantly more cores to support new AI features. Dedicated AV1 decoder and 8 gigabytes of RAM. Most awaited part, let's talk about cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro models are slated to receive a range of substantial camera enhancements, such as a larger main camera sensor, a 48 megapixel sensor on the ultra wide camera, and a dedicated hardware button for photography and videography on the side of the device. This time in the iPhone 16 Pro Max, there will be a 1 slash 1.14 inch main camera sensor, which is 12% larger than the iPhone 14 Pro, which has a 1 slash 1.28 inch main camera sensor. iPhone 14 Pro Max with Sony IMAX 803 main camera sensor with 7 piece camera lens, but the iPhone 16 Pro Max has a Sony IMAX 903 main camera sensor with a stack design for better performance a 14-bit analog-to-digital converter, ADC, for high-quality image data conversion, and a digital game control, DCG, for better dynamic range and noise control and 8-piece camera lens. iPhone 14 Pro telephoto camera with second-generation sensor shift optical image stabilization and 77mm maximum focal length with 4-piece camera lens. But the iPhone 16 Pro models a telephoto camera with a larger sensor, folded tetraprism design, optical image stabilization, and autofocus 3D sensor shift module. iPhone 16 Pro will use a 120mm maximum focal length, while iPhone 16 Pro Max will use a super telephoto camera with a focal length above 300mm with the five-piece camera lens, which is a massive upgrade in camera iPhone 14 Pro with a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera based on a 5-piece camera lens with 0.5x, 1x, 2x, and 3x optical zoom. But this time in iPhone 16 Pro models we will see a big improvement. A 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera which is based on a 6-piece camera lens, anti-reflective coating on camera lenses, and 0.5x, 1x, 2x, and 5x optical zoom. While many of Apple's devices are rumored to receive a series of new AI-based features via software updates later this year, the iPhone 16 Pro models are expected to take these further with exclusive capabilities and an upgraded microphone. The iPhone 16 lineup is expected to launch in the fall. Apple usually hosts an event every September to unveil new iPhone models, with the launch following just over a week later. For more information about the iPhone 16 Pro models, sub the channel and we will update you daily. The iPhone 15 Pro was a fairly significant upgrade over the iPhone 14 Pro in 2023, introducing a titanium chassis, slimmer bezels, the action button, and a USB-C port. The iPhone 16 Pro will build on these upgrades, offering larger displays, the capture button, and improved cameras. With over 50 upgrades likely to be in store, many iPhone 14 Pro users will find upgrading to an iPhone 16 Pro model worthwhile. So let us know about thoughts in the comment section on whether will you upgrade your iPhone or not. Hit the subscribe button if you are new and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.